Reconstruction falls apart in Grant's second term, and it's largely because of that split between the liberal and Grant Republicans and the efforts and actions of, uh, say with me here, domestic white supremacist terrorist groups like the Ku Klux Klan, in South Carolina, the Red Shirts, the White League, uh, they're going to use violence and intimidation and murder. Sometimes we euphemistically call this lynching. It in all of this is going to be used to try to intimidate mostly black and also Republican voters from going to the polls. And if you can use violence and intimidation to keep people from voting, then all of a sudden you have election results that look like, well, the people just wanted this. It's the same idea behind popular sovereignty where we said that the white population of a territory could do to determine about enslavement or to not be enslavers. And it's not really democracy when the people that it's happening to don't get to vote. There was some effort to stop this. The Ku Klux Klan Acts in 1871 were passed in order to try to uh, outlaw most of the activities that the Klan would do, not just uh, violence and intimidation, but uh, you couldn't wear uh, the hoods in public. Um, they, there are some other things there. Um, but it also used federal troops to try to protect voting rights. This is going to be one of the things that Congress isn't going to want to enforce. It does mostly eliminate the Klan because they couldn't have their formal activities like the meetings. But what's going to end up happening is the, the people that would have joined the Klan are just going to morph into uh, these things. Sometimes they're called rifle clubs or sword uh, clubs or veterans clubs. Um, so they're not doing the Klan kind of like hoods and stuff and burning up crosses, but they're doing the same stuff. They're, they're white supremacist domestic terrorists. And they're using violence and intimidation in order to get the political results that they want. Uh, one example is the Colfax massacre. Uh, white supremacists murdered about 81 black Republicans for no other reason that they were black Republicans. Here in South Carolina, we had the Hamburg massacre. The Hamburg massacre was an, a deliberate effort. The people that, that designed it said that they were trying to intimidate the black population. One of the leaders of the Hamburg massacre, Ben Tillman, is going to go on to become governor of South Carolina. He's going to brag about the ways that they used violence and then legal restrictions to keep people, uh, to keep black people from voting in the South. They weren't hiding any of this. They were deliberately trying to do this. And what happens is after Reconstruction ends and after the redemption gets in place, they're going to try to rewrite what happens because it's kind of embarrassing. And it's going to be put in new place for the next hundred years until the 1960s. And then even after the 1960s civil rights movement, there's still going to be efforts to uh, segregate and to eliminate people's rights. This is a constant battle. It is a constant effort that we need to fight against. The violence is going to lead to the white government, uh, the white Democrats in the governments. Don't worry about political parties at this point, because what's going to end up happening is these white Democrats that set up state governments in the South after the civil rights movement, uh, those, uh, well, during the civil rights movement, those white Democratic Southern governments are going to uh, leave the Democratic Party. They're going to form the Dixiecrats. Eventually, they're going to morph into uh, joining the Republican Party. Um, the Jim Crow era is now starting. 